We're heading to the job site this morning. We're gonna get the sniffer going, clear out any residual from the past job. The house we're gonna be doing this morning is gonna probably be a block wall depressurization. It's gonna present a little bit of a challenge, I think, but uh, we're gonna hopefully rely on the, the sniffer to help us sniff out the, the radon at this house. We're down in the basement and we have our sniffer going in this block wall and it's it's been anywhere between a thousand and fourteen picocuries. Uh, we have our suction hole and the pipe leads to the outside fan. This is taking care of this entire wall that we were uh, having high levels between a thousand and fourteen hundred picocuries. Again, we uh, were able to communicate through the other side wall. And again, this is where our, our, uh, our pilot hole was and we were able to communicate. Um, finish up with the fan and uh, set a test and see, um, see what the new levels are. Here we have the completed install fan drawing the gases from that block wall that showed elevated radon. Let's discuss what we just saw. The mitigator began by running the sniffer in clean air at the start of the day. He then took measurements at the four walls shown in the visual. The video shows the mitigator measuring hole 1 and getting high levels of radon. He also got readings of radon on hole 2, but not at the other holes. So, he only had to focus his attention on hole 1 and 2. He put the shot back where we see the larger hole in between hole 1 and 2, and was able to get a connection to both holes, meaning he didn't need to make any other further installations.